sad but true, there really is something called broken heart syndrome, and deep grief really can lead to heart attack, yes? I don't think this is surprising to any of us. I think we all have this understanding of what that broken heart syndrome means, but under a situation of significant emotional either happiness or duress, there is a release of stress hormones, and the broken heart syndrome is when the heart actually gets stunned. It looks like a heart attack, and on an EKG and in the blood test, it looks like a heart attack. When the woman goes, because it's mostly in women who are postmenopausal, when she goes to the cath lab, there's no blockages in the arteries. And what it looks like is the heart is ballooned out. The tip of the heart and the base of the heart is really big and stunned and not moving. It looks like an absolute massive heart attack. And usually this resolves completely within two months. So is this something that happens? It's not like somebody you have a great loss or have a great tragedy and you're in grief for a period of time and it builds. It really is a sudden thing at that moment in time. You get the phone call, something happens, and your body's in shock. It's usually that moment when there's a rush of hormones. It's oversaturation and it, your heart is really stunned because of the depth of the emotion. So two, two questions, obviously. One is, Anything you can do to prevent it or ease it if you're in the midst of all that? Probably not. I'm not sure right. if we can say there's a way to prevent right. this. We know that it happens most often in women who are postmenopausal, and it's really hard to say don't grieve, don't mm -hmm. be sad, don't allow your emotions to take right. over. It doesn't happen often, but when it happens, usually, people recover. It's just getting through that initial phase. But most importantly, you're gonna experience symptoms, so you need to go to the emergency room. You are going to experience right. symptoms, whether it's chest pain or shortness of breath, but go to the emergency room. In that immediate time, you just need to be taken care of to get through it, and you will recover. It's so important to be aware then, at some highly stressful moment, if you start having any kinds of symptoms, pay attention and do go. It's real, right. so go to the hospital. All right, thanks, Suzanne. If you liked what you just watched, please let us know. Make a comment on the video. Do that social thing. Share it on Facebook. Share it on Twitter. Share it on any of those social places that you like to go. And come back to BottomLineInc.com for more videos with Suzanne Steinbaum and more of our Bottom Line experts.